Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. You are? What yeah, is your I'm name? Muhammad Jaffa. Okay. Muhammad? Yeah, I can't see your picture, but uh, the voice is very clear. Okay. I can see your picture very well. Thank you, Muhammad. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Muhammad, Hashem. Good, good, good. Yeah, uh, uh, for, for now I don't have a uh, camera, so I will keep with voice. Until I get the interview with uh, Mr. Martian, I will uh, do the, the camera video, the, the video call. Excellent. I did not do the interview yet. Okay. It was supposed to be the last uh, Thursday. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Super, thank you. Uh, Martian, uh, we're going to have this call split in two halves. The first half is going to be with the team here. Uh, we're going to be focusing solely on the 3D. Okay. Uh, we're going to be uh, sharing the uh, bit of materials and uh, discussing the, the some of the questions that we have here in terms of pricing, etc. Mm -hmm. Sarah was supposed to also join us, by the way. I was. Uh, we have a small group. Sarah is with us there. Uh, she's also trying to source from Riyadh. The objective, as, as we spoke offline, is we need to build as soon as possible one full sample or two pieces of uh, 3D printers so we can know exactly the costing and uh, the time complications. Correct? That's this correct. Was our, That's uh, correct. Last time. That's the next thing. The next thing on a schedule is to, to for you guys to build it so we get the experience and work out any issues, primarily sourcing. Uh, I, I, uh, I wanted to share my screen, but instead, I will send you uh, guys the uh, Excel file. Uh, all of you. Uh, so we open it offline instead of jamming the, the bandwidth. So Jafar, and in a way, Sarah Dostery, uh, Hashim, and Martian. This may. Uh, I just sent you the Excel file. Okay, to the email. Yeah, to your emails. Yeah. Opening, opening the email. Got it? Not yet. Okay, there are there are there are lots of things, uh, uh, Martian. Yes. Uh, did you receive the file? Not yet. Yeah, there it is. I did okay. not. We had some it questions. Magul rah America faster than Riyadh. Well, I did not arrive yeah. yet. <laughs> I received the email for <laughs> downloading the, the network is a little slow. Yeah, but all right. Open, yeah. Fine, it's okay. okay it's uh, anyhow, what, what I was going to say that um, each one of us opened the original file BOM that you did, Martian, and we tried to decipher it to simplify it and uh, benchmark what we have here locally versus what we need to import. So you will find in the Excel file itself. Um, the original sheet that you did, and then there's a, there is a copy. The copy is where we're working. Can you open it, Martian? Uh, Which yeah, is, let's uh, see. RAMPS version, yeah? This is RAMPS version, that's, uh, that's Martian. The 
the one that we're talking uh, or that we're updating, it's the uh, sheet one. Sheet one, okay. Hashem, did you receive the file? Yes, I have seen that. Great. Which can I have it? مش عارف اذا مارشن فيسبوك اتاكد انه مارشن فتح وبعد كده اسلمك المايك مارشن ار يو ويز اس اون ذا سيم بيج ام نوت يت هولد اون داونلودينج ام تراين تو بوت انتو ماي درايف هير سو جريت اكشلي وي وير سبوست تو دو ذا سيم وي وانتد تو بوت اون درايف سو اول اوف ذا تشينجز وود بي ذير Right. Why don't you? Can you just? Can you just? Don't send it. Just send me a link to your drive. Can you just send me a link to your drive so I can just have that there? Okay. Let me send you the link to our drive. I just sent you the email link to the drive so you can you can place whatever you want there. Did you see the link, Marshall? Hey guys, hold on just five minutes here. I got a delivery right here. شباب انتوا هنا محمد جعفر وهاشم؟ يس طيب انتوا الفايل فتح معاكم صح؟ ايه هل في ابديت عن الفايل القديم؟ ولا نفسه حق امس؟ هل في ابديت عن الفايل تبع امس ولا نفسه تبع امس؟ حطيت في الاخر فايل في الاخر اللي هو اللي عن ايوه الكولم بتاع اليو الكولم بتاع اليو لحظه لحظه الكولم بتاع ايش مكتوب؟ يو 
ايوه احنا واقفين على شيت ون هاي هاي شغله ولا اوكي ايوه وذ شيبينج اوكي الكوست بتاع شو بتاع اللي هو دبليو كلهم بتاع دبليو دبليو الحين ارجع لدبليو دقيقه الدبليو وين جايه؟ اوكي كوست مكتوب حتى الكلهم بتاع كوست مارشينج كوست فور 1.5 وذاوت شيبينج اوكي بعديها اللوكال اوكي 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 ماك Sorry guys, I'm back here. Um, oh, it's okay. Okay, did you I send a link? I sent you the link to the drive, uh, Martian. Did you receive it? Yep, got it. I'm going there right now. So, let's see if we've got it. Yeah, I got it. So, which... Um, Okay, I see three files in that folder there. Okay, there are, there are three files in that folder. So. And which one is... I'm, I'm just seeing... I'm not seeing a bill of materials. There's let me, let me, let lists me, of the just, people. Just it's priority products oh, list. Okay, I mean, I can I can just download it and look at it offline. I wanted to put it online. I'm um, not why it's not. Online because the version that you see from our email it seems to be not the last version. There's one after it. Okay, okay, okay. So we we really need to be looking at. Yeah, we should we should have the same file that we have. Right. The link you sent me was priority pr products list and two other files. Which Actually, the link I, I sent you, it's called OSE Mina, correct? The folder. The folder is called OSE Mina, yes. And there you have uh, two files. Yep. One of them was the product list, priority list of products. And the other one is the list of names, the participants, the checklist that we are dating. Right, right. What we are uploading now is the uh, latest version okay. of the VUM. In the meanwhile, Hashim is there. He had some questions yesterday to you, so I would move the mic to Hashim. Hashim. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, first of all. Uh, you, can, you can go ahead with Marsha now. Yeah, uh, uh, the first question was the frame. Uh, it says here from Seaman and uh, Shusky, yeah. I have no idea how to. Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yes, yes. This, yeah. Uh, how to get the sizing and uh, uh, the dimensions? Uh, I did not see the, the instructions for that. Okay. So let me go to that file and see. Uh, are you looking at the, the online file, online bill of materials? Uh, yes. Okay, let me um, let me go there myself and let me add the link. It's um, the real link for that that you need is the, just the the cutting files, which are DXF CNC okay. cutting files, and those yes. are located. Okay, let me see. I didn't put a link there, so I put Siemens and Shusky. But what you need to do is the link 
next to that is the CAD file link. If you click on that one, okay, that's the CAD file uh -huh. link. Okay, that's not what you want. Are you sharing any links in the conversation? No, not yet. So let me let me share the link where the three D frame. Okay, so okay, look in the conversation. That's where the DXF file is. So So if you see the the first yeah, image awesome. there, I mean that's what we do. We we get four sets of frames out of each cutting, uh, and they're basically the currently the latest one we're doing is the four nested, which means that you're getting okay. four four frame sets out of each cut so you literally can make a 16 inch version a 13 inch version and okay, then so they are not the same they are not the same we did the first one and the first build this the current build is the four nested Yes, so 3D printed parts, let's see what the links say there. Social media development discussion. Uh huh, yeah. Okay. So for the 3D printed parts, if you go to this link here, let me get that. Yeah, that should all be clear in that in that bill of materials there. So I should update that bill of materials. But if you look at this wiki page, D3D part library, that shows the files that you need to print now as far as identifying which is which yeah if you look at the names of the parts from part 14 through 24 you will see the corresponding names in the part library page. Martin, I, I recommend you share your screen. Sorry. So we're following up with you. I don't know if it will work or not, but let's let's start sharing your screen. So when you're explaining we we're, we're with you on the same page. Okay. Can you see my screen? Mm, we do, yes. We do. Hashim uh, uh, Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. The D3D part library page, which is what you're seeing on my screen, has got both the part index, which is the same, yeah, similar spreadsheet, and then it has the the actual CAD files. For D3D 16 inch is what you want to be looking at. And then simply take a look at the part names like for example the motor side, carriage side, short idler, peg, cable chain extruder holder, end stop holder, sensor holder and that's it that should be Okay, are we using APS or PLA? Does not matter. Okay. I would do... Uh, for flat... Yeah, yeah I mean, for PLA it's going to be easier to print things. 
because it doesn't warp as much. I'm printing the current version with PLA. And you could use either, as long as the prints come out straight. Now in the part library you have 14 through 24. Okay. Which means 11 parts. Yeah. And in the D3D16, how many do you have? You got 4, 8, 9, 4, 8, 9. Okay, what are the two missing parts? What's missing there? Oh yeah, because the cable chain has got three, uh, f four parts in there. So 18 through 22 relates to the cable chain, which is included in part in this one right here. That's the cable chain. Cable chain consists of those four different items. And the main link is like that, so you use either. Uh, so to, to, no to count this up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the cable chain. Ignore that's that link because that's included in um, in this four file. So we got eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's it. The first eleven items Yes. Yeah are the 11 items in a spreadsheet, the 3D printed parts in a spreadsheet. Does that make sense? So these these 11 parts... Yeah, I, I... Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, now you don't need the long... The next point I have... Let me just, uh, just tell you one thing. 17B, um, we're using the short piece. Don't worry about the long piece. Either works, but the short piece gives us a little bit more space. So use the 17, not 17B. Sorry, are you uh, are you referring to the Excel sheet or to the? Yeah, I'm referring to the D3DBOM. This, I mean, the spreadsheet here. What I'm saying is, uh, if you look at my screen. You want to use 17. The way on your screen is frozen. Do you see the screen? No, it's, it's turned off. It's turned off. We can't see anything, by the way. You, you were speaking really? we were trying, uh, from our side. We were trying to follow up, but nothing is there. Okay. Well, so I'm we, yeah, we, we bad one. We really just talking about. Okay. So go into the... In the ch yeah, I, I am trying to share my screen. But if you go to the D3D part library link that I sent you... The part library. Okay. Right. What I'm trying to say is that use the in the part library use the short idler piece, which is this, as opposed to the long idler piece. So, yeah, yeah. Um, in a D3D 16-inch version. Where is where is, this, where is where is the short idler versus the long idler? What is this mentioned? It's mentioned in the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet. Has 17A and 17 and 17B. Okay, all right. So we should. You recommend we use the short idler, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna just cross Hashem. out. Can you follow up? Yeah, I'm following up. Well, we're speaking about the first Excel sheet, and you're speaking about okay. 17A. We should move for 17 without 17B. Okay. Okay. Uh, another thing for the Arduino and the Shield. Mm -hmm. uh, are you using the GRBL? We're using Marlin software. That's all to uh, be downloaded. To, uh, I meant to. What, what are you using to flash the Mega? We're using OSC Marlin. Okay. It's based on. GRBL, it's not GRBL, it's a derivative of it. Okay, so for that, see the link that I'm pasting? That's the software you, you need. 
So, okay. so download OSE Marlin, and we're using Lulzbot Cura, D3D Lulzbot Cura. So, Cura, Marlin, and our initialization file. Those are linked all in that page I sent you. So with that all, the point is you have to pay attention to the geometry. If you go to the D3D Marlin page, you will see a standard for the geometry. Which way is X? Which way is Y? Which way is Z? Orientation of yeah. how you put in the peg into the idler piece. The orientation of the motors. All that matters for that code to work out of the box. But it's that's all been worked out, uh, so don't change that uh, to save yourself hours hours of time. So I'm um by the way, I'm recording this video, so I will put this online so you guys can review this and you can actually review my screen because the, my screen follows what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, there's on a D3D Marlin page, there's a, there's a graphic of D3D geometry. And my only point about that is just make sure every single item in it you follow as far as how you arrange the machine, how, what the orientation of every part is. And that it's pretty much all outlined on that. So you just need to follow that. Right. Hashem, do you have any more questions here? Because Ahmed have a couple before we move to the other side. Okay, let's move with Ahmed. Bad in either the cart. Five, okay. Uh, hi, Marcel. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, let's talk about uh, the detailed items. Um, yeah. I see that from item one to four, the, some bolts. Um, six mm with the uh, outer dimensions. Uh, my question here is, it's a stainless steel uh, bolt. From course twice it here, it could be realistic with uh, a steel one or not. You can do zinc plated or steel, you could do anything. Okay, good. Uh, from but it has to be a, a cap, the cap, basically the hex head cap screws so that they are recessed. They have the recessed Allen wrench bolt hole. Yeah, just exactly on the one uh, is exactly on the bill of materials, except it could be any material. But the okay, but the bolt has to be the same type. It can't be just a hex head bolt. It has to be a cap screw. Yeah. Okay. Right. But the material can be it's normal, okay, no problem for you. Yeah, which is which is actually the stainless steel is more expensive, so you can go cheaper. Ah, this is yes, that's right. Uh, because it's very expensive actually. I uh, could get something like that in Saudi Arabia. That's right. Well, some some good saving there. Yeah. Uh, also regarding the DEI sheet, which is item number six. By the way, guys, if you want to follow up with what we're talking. I've already uploaded the file in the drive. It's called the D3D Bill of Materials version 17. So we are talking about the PEI surface? Yeah. Um, could you address it with another one of, or another type of uh, isolation or it have to be PEI surface? Martian, are you still with us? Yes, I am. It has to be for high performance. You want PEI. What the, oh, what okay. that does? What that does is once once the PEI cools off, it allows the part to come off very easily. Ah, oh, okay. That's it's a really nice Good. thing. Okay. I mean, it's Good. you can put anything there, but it just it wouldn't be to our standards. Uh, 
guys, can you please open the sheet that we just uploaded on the drive? Yeah, and how is that different? That's an exact copy at this point, or? Uh, there's a sheet, sheet one. Sheet one. What a sheet one. Yes, we take a copy from your sheet, actually, and the way. Oh, you sheet one. Right over one. Uh-huh, okay, hold on a second. Okay, which which document are you referring to right now? The one that you're opening, the same one, sheet number one. You're already with us on the same document, D3D bomb. Okay. 16 version 24. Okay. And you're looking at... Take on my, my picture, it will take you to the right row. It's row number 11, item number 9. Okay. Two, yeah. Yep. Uh, 124 is, is 124. Quantity needed per machine is 124 inches. 124 inches. Uh, okay, okay. So this is the channel, right? Okay, because the quantity is, is two here, I think it's meters too much. Yeah. So, yeah, like, uh, yeah, okay, one, one, two, four. Okay, which is, okay, that's good. Uh, for item, uh, for, uh, 12, 12, 12, 12. How do I access that picture? Oh, you're just doing local links of that picture? Yeah, I actually add some one which is can be easily to be uh, uh, shipped to Saudi Arabia. Okay, okay when I click number. on on number nine in column B okay. in row eleven, you guys have a you're doing a link to a local picture. Is that correct? Oh uh, yes, that's right, but. Uh, Actually, the local picture is on my level, so Yeah, can you... Okay, so so I want to bring up a point about documentation standards. So, let me actually share this one document, with, if, if we don't mind, because, I mean, I'm telling you, this is going to simplify things for... Because uh, the, the one thing you have to pay attention to is that we're not doing this for ourselves, we're doing this for any further people that want to yeah. replicate this as well. Which means that we want to do open documents, like what I would encourage if you guys can take the documents that you have and make them publicly viewable. And whenever you have links, try to put them on a place which is public. So, I mean, what I would encourage is that you use our wiki. That's why I'm trying to get you all guys to get on a program and get uh, with the documentation standards, like start a log and then upload things the one one place we can keep track of all of that so it's not you know like as the project grows over the years uh the central repository right now is simply our wiki you can upload pictures there and everything so what i would suggest if you make a make a bill of materials like that you link to pictures that are on the wiki and that means you know it'll just be better for everybody in the long term so that's that's just uh, my suggestion here because, for example, say somebody wants to replicate this in Morocco, you know, they can, they can see exactly everything that you've done. As opposed to, like, and even right now, what you're seeing, like, like my, my spreadsheet was not clear enough. Well, that's actually learning for me. I got to improve that spreadsheet so that, like, for example, the, the 3D printed parts are in there, as well as the DXF file link that should be in there as well. So things like that. The only thing, just, just one more point. Um, let me put this link. Uh, I'd like. 
one of the goals for today is what I wanted to do is a critical path. So let me share that with you right now, so so we can actually start filling that in, like like what the time cutoffs are. So please take a look at this. So that would be a good milestone to reach for today. Uh, go into this document, and we gotta fix the dates up in there. But basically, we'd like to put a calendar on where we kind of have certain milestones. Like, hopefully, within you know, like within four weeks, you guys are done building. So the final dates there are the 3D printer, the 100 3D printer. Motion. Yeah. Go ahead. You shared a couple. By the way, uh, Sarah just joined. Oh, great. She's with us. Oh, Sarah, are you there? Yeah. Uh, how are you doing there? Can you follow the the critical path? I mean the first Just a and who's who's with us in the call? Is it Sarah or Muhammad? We have Hashim, yes, we have Martin. Who's the third guy? Sarah, is that you? Yeah, I can hear you. Sarah? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm there. I'm the I'm probably the third, but I, I'm, I'm connected uh, uh, on my phone, so I can't. Uh, I don't get the screen you're sharing. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm just. I just joined in, so I'm trying to catch up. Okay, Ben Muhammad is the one sending us some messages. He has some questions to you from item 14 to 24 or something. Based on searching the net. Yes. Okay, let's do one thing. We'll we'll, uh, we'll 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 carry on here with you, Martian. And if yeah. there are any questions that you couldn't answer, uh, we'll send it to you over email. Maybe perhaps you can we can take it there. Okay. Yeah. So we're with you now, and uh, we're opening the. Uh, Google Docs, Google Slide, the critical path. Yeah. So it's Innovate Path 2017. Okay. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to get some main uh, dates in there, like so we can actually follow it to see if we're on track. So, because there's a lot of moving pieces, of course. I mean, if we want to succeed at this, I do believe that um, I think the technology is easy. The biggest part, I, I would say, is still the marketing and getting that that done and to market stuff well we want to get the build done as fast as possible with you guys it would be great if you guys if you look at the documentation track the video documentation when you build it can you get a guy get somebody to do actual video of it so that we can have a promo video of the, out of that I guess yeah Sarah and Hashem are gonna build one in Riyadh I think one or two. We're gonna build one here. Okay, so we're gonna be doing two teams in Canada. So in Riyadh and where else? Khobar, Khobar, where we are. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we we, we just wanna make sure the, the sourcing is fine. If if we're gonna all work on one it's also fine. Uh Sarah do you have, uh, Hashim, Sarah, do you have a uh, guy for documentation for your uh, building? Excuse me? Do we have what? A person for documentation. While you're building it now within August, now if you're if you're following on the on the critical path, we need yes. to build by August. 
within the next four weeks. We need to have one full machine ready. So Martian is proposing that we have a, um, a full documentation, video documentation, and we're going to use that as part of the uh, marketing awareness PR for the event itself. Yeah. You have you have you have a, a video recording there in the other, right? Yes. Do you guys have anyone who's actually, um, like I saw the one the one guy I interviewed who had who was working on a solar car. He had a they had a nice promo video, so it was pretty much professionally made. But is there anyone that we know on your team that actually does video work, video editing? We'll have to ask. To, uh, honestly, I don't, I'm, I'm not that familiar myself of that, but maybe Sarah or Hashim, if you, if you have an answer, please hear it. I mean video do I mean video documentation I mean that's the most critical part towards marketing in my opinion uh, because that makes it the most live and and real to people so oh, yeah, the, actually the the marketing team Basma and Rufaida uh, I'll share with you after the meeting here the the marketing plan with them I'll have with you a separate call for that okay but uh, the, one of the main things that they've asked for uh, is the actually the build they want to share uh, like a very short promo here uh, right with the local but we're gonna uh, rely also on some some of the other builds that you've done so far so we'll need maybe some raw material from here or there right and as you said we'll need a video producer video editor who can have you seen a current awesome. video uh, let me just link that to you in case any of you have not seen it but there's a video you can pick probably a lot of good material from that uh, so let me send you a link um, this this is our current promo video so you can pass it on to Rofaida of course uh, but that's the kind of source we have we you know we have a little bit of that but that's there's some good material in there but it would be great to show okay here's this happening in USA here and now you got real footage from Saudi Arabia uh, so that would be much more real mm -hmm. so from our side you'll have well, hopefully we're gonna have two or three video shootings I, I recommend uh, Hashim and uh, Sarah work together on the on the art in real I'm gonna be working with Ahmed and Sadiq on the on the 3D printer in October so maybe we can have two different videos and two different buildings at the same time in parallel. Yeah, I mean that would be that would be great. Okay, we have we have some more questions. If uh, if you're still there, do you have any other feedback on, on the timeline? So August is the before, yeah. Before we move the, out of the timeline. So we have video documentation by August, we have the re reserve the venue, uh, we have to build it, so this is by August. Uh, language agnostic instructionals? Yeah, okay, so language agnostic instructionals, let me just show you a little bit about that. But we have, so, I mean that's the most advanced level of documentation you have, and we can probably go what I would suggest as the two assets that we generate and focus on with you guys is the video like there's one on the one level so let's actually make it granular on the one level is like I would say publicity goes from the video documentation someone edits that and makes a like when do we want to start actually advertising like we should probably set a date um like announcement the announcement should probably come about i mean definitely like two months before the event but what do you think when do we want to get the actual announcement so we can backtrack from that so we're saying okay now people register so that means we have the venue we've got the the promo video and everything else so when do we want to put out the annou announcement Okay, this was a discussion with Hamid Jafar, Basma, and Rufaida regarding this specific topic, and it's going to be split on, 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 on two sides. The first thing, the actual registration event where you open your uh, tickets, you buy your seats, you do all of that, the official registration, 
it doesn't go more than two weeks ahead of the event. So no more than two weeks? Two, two weeks. But actually for the event itself, we're going to be starting like teasers. We're going to be doing some, some, um, some products, some short, uh, very short videos, some flyers, pictures, ads, uh, and uh, we call it teasers over, over a two months period. So people are going to be excited. It's, it's like only to push the excitement of imagining building this and then nobody knows how or where or, or why. Then uh, two weeks ahead of the, uh, of the event, you open up and, and, and you launch the, the actual registration, the official announcement of it. Do we have a date at this point? Can we select the date at this point? Yes, it's two weeks from the event. Actually, the, the, the team was asking when is the exact uh, date for it. And I was looking into the calendar. We, we said something mid mid uh, December, correct? Yeah, December. December sixteen. So, would Saturday work or Friday or Sunday? It, it's better to be on uh, on a weekend, so it's. Uh, is Saturday or Sunday better? Uh, I'd, I'd say Friday, Saturday. Uh, we we all were pushing for two days. By the way, Marcia, we agreed to what you were proposing. Uh, so two days would be um, a greater value for for the participants. Uh huh. Uh, so the first day they will come build the machine itself. Second day, if there's any fine tuning, final, final touches, and then we start using uh, the machine to print and produce some practical tools. Okay. Our weekend here is Friday, Saturday, so we can have it split on that. So half of uh, Friday, maybe perhaps, and then Saturday. Wow, two weeks before for registration. Okay, uh, do you guys know what you're doing with that? That's, I mean, two weeks is, you know, I mean, the way I like to do that is if you have the promo teasers, um, I don't see why it, why does it hurt to have people register right at that time? Because they, they might see that, get excited, and then it's two weeks before that, and, and they actually are away or doing something else. I mean, is this... Right, right. I, I'm, 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 myself, uh, I'm more uh, towards what you're saying. I'm, I haven't worked on the marketing side, and this is where the value, uh, actually, the Basma has been arranging uh, lots of events here, uh, profit, non-profit, public, private events, and, and uh, actually, even uh, Mohammed Jaffer from from um, a corp a private sector, he was also confirming the same thing that you don't actually go uh, too long ahead because hmm. people uh, don't normally book it, or they they book but they don't do it, they don't join, uh, especially if it's if it's if it's something uh, really uh, affordable. Um, we wanted to uh, to have a session with you on that, and maybe in that talk we can. Uh, can see the dates more properly. Here, uh -huh. let's put them like tentative until dates, and then we can work around the details. My counter to that was, uh, I agree with what you're saying. If people actually register, this gives us even more confidence on the on the um, the value of the event itself ahead of time. So we're we're, we're sure with the venue, the booking. Uh, we prepare for all of the materials. We prepare for all. Of, we we're gonna have things much. Uh, much relax in terms of uh, financing the whole event, right? Yeah, if I mean, I'm just saying that um, we have never done it that way. So we have never done it where we le where we start teasers and then we we just have registration at one point because I don't know. I think that's. Um, the call to action like I haven't really I'm not a marketer but but from what I know is uh, you don't do the advertising without a call to action right there unless you have a very well planned out marketing campaign and it's big and everything but if you if you don't have the amount of effort it takes to make sure that the person comes back those two weeks before then you've wasted the effort. So that depends on how much energy and effort we have behind the marketing. Now, typically, we don't okay. have a lot of energy okay. behind marketing because we want to just catch people as they go. 
That's probably why we've never done it here that way. For that, for that discussion, as I said, uh, Marge, yeah. the, the audience are, are not the gents here. <laughs> They're so technical. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure none of them actually have an answer, neither myself. Okay. I'd, I'd rather have it in another meeting. But sure. only watch out here that uh, we might need to seal the exact application. We have an application in December. Uh, I'm not sure when. So it might shift one week back or forth. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. Super. Except if, if it's, so yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, that's all right. Mm -hmm. I mean, from, from this specific slide, from what we're sharing now with the team, what they need to know, what we need to work on is actually by end of August, we should have a full build uh, with a proper docu documentation uh, done already, correct? Yeah, yeah. And for that, I think we should resume our questions because the guys here have some uh, yeah. sourcing issues. I assume even Sarah was having some questions. Uh, Hashim has a couple, and Ahmed yeah. has yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. For you. Yalla, Ahmed. Go ahead. Uh, sheet. Back to the sheet. Back to the yeah. sheet. We're on. Um, okay. Uh, first. Uh, okay. Uh, item number twenty-five, and. 125 and 26. 25 and what? One, uh, behind, uh, under it, 125 and 26. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and by the way, can uh, you guys try to format that spreadsheet so it doesn't... Uh, it's a killer. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there, but it's okay. Are you trying to help me format it? Okay, please go. Okay, now I think it's 25 is readable. Okay, item 25. Extruder mount. Right? Uh, no, that's not 6. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, 25 and uh, there are four, uh, the four items, the four red items. Four red color items. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know exactly uh, what the definition between each other. So this is, uh, will help me a lot to, to reduce uh, the cost. Okay. Right. Uh, that's why I need the drop specifically with. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, with the damage which is applicable. Okay. Okay. So. So heated bed. Heated bed is a it is an yeah. aluminum bed that has the heating elements built into that. So it's not just an aluminum sheet; it's an aluminum sheet with with the heater in it. So, okay, excellent. so it's just like okay, the link. Uh, with thermostat. Yeah, the thermistor. Uh, just maybe forget about maybe maybe just get rid of that there. And okay. and get rid of twenty eight because that's for the smaller version. Okay. Get rid of that. Now, bed thermistor, just do that. That's that's just this little thing, that thing. The okay, so that's yeah. it. Thermistor and the wires. Yeah, and just wires. Okay. Wires are anything. Okay, Fourteen the, gauge. Yeah, first one, the, I, the, the, if it is in the levels, the first level will be the thermostat. The second level will be the heat bed, and the third level will be uh, the B I B I C. That's right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the okay, surface good. we put we simply glue the surface, the PEI surface onto the aluminum and the thermistor it goes through a little hole on the underside of the heated bed. It's taped in. Okay. Also uh, regarding item number uh, thirty four. Thirty four, yes. Uh what you see here? Uh let's open the sensor powder. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. No. Thirty four. Grams and drive and omega. Oh yeah, sure. Okay. S yeah. Uh I 
cut of the chin, I don't know why. The link, I need to know where to see it. Uh, there is two different uh, items actually. It's not two different. One item is, uh, is uh, have a lot of. Uh, has a lot of stuff in it. Okay, let me explain it. The other no. one is just one component. Yeah. Uh, what is the right thing? This one or the okay. other one? Well, they're both the same, right? So, let's let's erase 134. Okay. Delete that. You just need that one. So, what it has, it's got the Arduino on it. It's got that red shield on it. And it's got all those other little pieces, which are, should be five of those little stepper drivers. Five little heat sinks. And that's it. Okay. So I just buy another from the market. Yeah, so, so make sure it has um, the complete system, which means... The complete system? Yeah, which means that it's got the Arduino on it, it's got the shield, the, the ramps, 1.4, the red thing, and it's got five of those little squares. And then it has that green plug. And then you okay, need to can connect... You, can you if 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 you click on uh, edge edge thirty eight L which I'm standing on myself yeah thirty eight yeah you need exactly that it's got the ramps one point four plus the Arduino Mega plus five of those stepper drivers and it also has the 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 connector wire but that's just a USB cable. So any USB cable that goes from the A to B type, A is the square one, A is the rectangular, B is the square square one. It's an A to B Arduino cable because the Arduino Arduino accepts the USB that's the square USB. Type A. Yeah, which I mean, but you should have those cables probably. Yeah, the cable is an A to B cable. USB A to B cable is that blue blue cable that you see there. Now those other little cables there, I don't know what they are. They, uh, I don't know what they are. They don't really. So the blue cable only is the connected one or is the needed one, right? Sorry, say it again. The blue cable. Yeah. Okay, which is only the other cables is not uh, not uh, needed in our case, right? Correct, because we're getting them as it's a separate item. We have those, we have other items in the bill of materials, which is the stepper motor cables. That's probably what those are. Okay, that's right. That's what I clicked in here. Okay, what about the red chip and the yellow chip? The red one or the blue one? Uh, actually. That's why I'm moving the camera. Hashim and Sarah, are you with us here following up? Yeah, I'm not sure. Sarah, see, let's go. What's the other one? There is two chips. Two chips. One is red and one is uh, blue. Okay. You, you mean the driver? The reds are the drivers. The driver on the right? No, 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 no. Let's let's agree from the start. Which which cell did you open? This is the link. Let me H thirty eight. No, H thirty eight. That is one. And then there is G thirty eight. That's another one. Wait, Ahmed. Okay. So Good. which one you are talking about? No, ah, sorry, sorry. Thirty six. Thirty six. G thirty six. G thirty six. H thirty six. Okay. These, these, these two links, these two. one is Alibaba, one is eBay. Right, okay. right. Okay, so what you're seeing there, that's the ramps by itself, the one you just mentioned, right? That's okay. the detail of it. Good. But what the point is, these were backup sources in case we couldn't find the whole package. Now, what you see there, this, the uh, H36 is missing the drivers. So anyway, ign ignore all of that. Just go to the one in G36, 
Because the H oh. and I were alternative sources of other parts. Okay. Uh, it, is, it doesn't matter so much. Does it matter if we have the RAMs uh, from any supplier? Yes, it doesn't matter. I mean, there is a lot of manufacturers that uh, manufacture the RAMs and the drivers. Correct. Uh, do we should follow the, the, the URL uh, provided in the sheet? Or we can work with anything? You can work with anything. Those are very standard parts. You just need an Arduino, okay. you need the ramps board, you need the stepper drivers with the heat sinks. Okay, did you try it with easy drivers or is it, not? Or is it, uh, is it applicable to, do, uh, to be done with the easy drivers? Uh, easy driver, I think that's different. It will have a different... Does easy driver work with ramps? Easy driver? Uh, it is already have having the, the the driver of the CNC and it it can be plugged automatically with the uh, Arduino. I see. It has the it gives you the output as X and Y and Z and you can uh, control the the revolution per minute and you can revolution uh, you can control the direction and you can control the steps. Right. Uh, so sorry, easy. It is ready to be used as a CNC driver. Right. So you're saying easy driver as opposed to the easy driver has the Arduino built into it. No, you will connect the easy driver to an to an Arduino. I see. But you will get rid of the ramps. Yeah. No, I wouldn't recommend that because uh, there there might be some other issues involved with that. And you cannot, uh, you'd have to, the nice thing about ramps is that it's a very simple thing that you put right on top of the Arduino. Otherwise, you would have to do the easy driver, like you have to con still connect it to the Arduino. And it would be a whole mess. You'd have the Arduino and a, and a bunch of these drivers hanging all over the place. So the advantage of the ramps is that you have it all on one board. So the answer is no. Don't don't use don't use easy driver go to go to ramps. There is a uh, link which is cell uh, I36. Can you check that please? I36. I36. I thirty six is a power card. Oh, did I mess that up? No, that's not a power card. Power card? No, it's rumble. No, it's a. It's a full set. Yeah, no. No, that we don't need the display there. This is something that Ahmed added. This Ahmed added. It's not you, Martian. Okay. Yeah, I like it myself. That's why. Because the other one is out of stock. It's and if if you check the RAMs. You can do it, but you, you're buying an extra screen. You don't need the screen. We, we don't need the screen, right? No. Okay, so you need the okay. screen. I mean, you can do it, but it's you're getting ex extra parts. Hashim, you can tap it, Are you following up? Yes. Yes. Okay. We need. We need the. the, the no, no, I did not do that. Uh, another question for the ceramic, ceramic screwdrivers. Uh, yeah. Is there some reason for this to, to be anti-static? Yeah. The, there's a. What happens is there's a little adjustment on the drivers that you have to adjust, and if you short circuit it, you will blow those out. So that's why they use ceramic ones so you can adjust it while the thing is turned on without worrying that you will short out one of your drivers okay forget the plastic ones okay but one of those it's only a dollar or so it's like a dollar or two for one of those drivers okay. screw screwdrivers no i guess the issue with them is uh, it's not available in saudi arabia it's, it's not, not? The, the 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 cost Really? Well, um, yes. Huh? 
Well, if you don't have the ceramic ones, you can use a metal one, but at that point, you just have to turn the power off the board so you don't short circuit anything. So oh, it's still. Well, yeah. We have one if we have, right? Yeah, you could use plastic. Plastic, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Pla yeah you could do a plastic screwdriver, that's correct. Yeah, but you have, you have, uh, you showed me a link that was like Ali, AliExpress. Yeah. So why, what, they don't have ceramic? Yes, they do, but they are not in Saudi. <laughs> AliExpress is in China, right? Yeah. It sources mainly from China. That's why it's long distance. We're being attacked, and there's a lot of issues. And the time shipping. itself, we don't know the, the shipping. How fast would it be? Well, the shipping, I mean, look, I order yeah. for, from AliExpress myself. You can do, typically what happens here is we get like 10 to 15 day shipping from AliExpress. So it's it's okay if you have time. 10 to 15 days. <laughs> From AliExpress? Yeah. Okay. From five days, then sixty days. Wow. Depends on the ship. Okay. Keep going. Maybe the best thing, you know, as we said earlier, a long time ago, what we're gonna do from our side, we're gonna uh, try to source everything locally. Okay. If we couldn't find them locally, we're gonna try to import them if there is a very reasonable lead time. If not, we're going to be providing you with a list of items that maybe you can get us with you from the States. Sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. We're, we're, we're sourcing from the region. Ahmed here is saying from Egypt, from UAE. We're going to try to find as maximum as uh, local stuff, but no, if not available, maybe you'll bring it with you from the States as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for example, item number uh, 29, which is excluded itself. It's true that you have provided is uh, 0.3 millimeters. Okay? Item number? Uh, 28, I think. It's true assembly. Okay. Okay? Uh, so assembly we have, uh, it's 0.3 mm. Uh, yeah. Provided, okay? While we have 0.4, it's more cheap and uh, it's uh, more reliable in the long time. What is your, uh, what's your idea about this one? Sorry, what is the question? The point four is cheaper. Yeah, yeah, no, 0.4 is better. Um, what what I did I like I like to go 0.5. Those little nozzles at the end, you can just replace them, and you can get a bunch of bunch of larger ones. What I do is I I typically use 0.5 because it's like 1. time 1.5 faster than 0.4 because the speed yeah, of right. of print goes as the square of the yeah. Okay, good. Uh, let's go back for one part. Okay, uh, this is the final one for me and the other questions after the checking the frame with the dimensions. Yep. Okay, thank you. Yep. Next okay. question. Hashem. Hashem, the mic is back to you, Vera. If you have any questions regarding sourcing. Because, guys, we're going to have to finalize the list here within a couple of days by this weekend. We need to have a finalized, updated list with sources, prices, etc. So we place our orders early next week and we start building. Yeah. Okay, there is something, uh, because I did not see the sheet as well as you. There is something called a uh, timely issue inductive sensor, 12 of 8 inch, 5 shipping, 4 over 9, get crazy glue. What is that? Item number 1. The first, the first row on the Excel sheet. Okay, I can. Oh. 
No, no, no. That's uh, that's my notes. Get rid of that. He deleted it. Yeah, I mean, don't worry. I mean, in the best case, you don't actually need it because the the in, in some cases you just don't need it. Yeah, I mean, you might not even need it. So if you if you have a small metal one, that will work. But just turn off the board when you're doing it, and that's and you might not have to do it. So. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, what next? Okay. Can I any more questions, Hashem? No, I'm done. Great. I think uh, we have uh, Mohammed Jafar, but unfortunately, the Connection failed him. Yeah. In the small book, he was asking about items regarding item 14 to 24. They have no related yeah. info. Not yeah, yeah. They, are, they are the printed part. He just uh, shared the link in the wiki, and we can get the DXF files from there. Okay. So 14 to 24. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. sorry, I answered uh, and we have few. No, it's fine. That's why we have a, a, so a full we'll team. <laughs> Sarah is there, yeah. Sarah, are you with us? Sarah is printing. She has already asked the 3D printers there at her site. Yes, I'm <laughs> here. <laughs> Then uh, I think we what we need to start is halas. We, we we dig deeper, take the files, uh, have a meeting with Sarah, visit maybe the place uh, an offline, uh, see what guys uh, how is how is your time frame to build the the, the prototype in um, real the model, and we're gonna be sharing whatever we do here in Hover with you. Uh, this side to as as we said early next week, placing orders and start the uh, uh, building. That's great. Martian, any. any um, any final comments from your side for the team before we disconnect? Yes. So, so Sarah, since you're you're officially enlisted as an OSE developer, can you can you keep track of the time that your team spends and please log it in a in a timesheet for OSE because this is a part of our effort. So we should document it, document the hours yes. spent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so that will be the combined effort of, of all you guys, how, how many hours you're putting into that. Yeah, that will be great. Okay, so, uh, so, I doc so I document uh, the team's uh, work in, in one sheet? Or? Yeah, yeah. Since, I mean, since you're currently, <laughs> I mean, I'm being a little strict on that in a sense that because you've gone through the whole process of joining the team, yeah. then... You also know how to t do the timesheet and everything else. So if you can do that for your entire team, that means coordinate with your guys and have them keep tabs on how much time they've spent. If that would be okay with you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's also good to know, like, for example, when, when a new new team actually does a replication, how so we can keep track of time, so we can compare... Uh, that data for further efforts to see if you know how well we're doing if how effectively a team gets started up so we can then learn from it and make things better mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah it'll be great thank you that, that's all I have for now yeah. I, I just want to emphasize the the idea that we're doing something very neat here very interesting and we definitely want to document and do the video work as much as we can with the the ideal outcome 
of what you guys build is one we not only get a promotional video but actually a real build video so so if they if whoever if you do have a video person documenting the build I mean I know it's hard but the the easiest thing you can do is even a time lapse where you just have a camera just running there while you're doing it and then someone can edit that because a complete video instructional is something we don't have yet for the entire build so if you guys can do that on, on your side that would definitely contribute to the whole effort and then the other product is the the very high quality printed instructionals which we call language agnostic instructionals they're like IKEA style fabrication diagrams did you ever ever see the IKEA do you guys have IKEA yeah yeah sure yeah so if you yeah. ever saw the diagrams they use for instructions yes yeah, of yes. Course, yeah. yes of course so yeah the simple yeah, diagrams yeah, Sarah, Yeah. Are you the Sarah? I said that she's part of uh, <laughs> she's part of a very nice uh, animator team in Real. Correct, Sarah? Animation? Yeah, like, no, like no. Uh, Atir and Jumana, your network. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Any, uh, yeah, Atir and Jumana, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe uh, what Martian is is referring to is yeah. yeah that would be nice. Yeah, I mean, it, it just, it, yeah. Sorry. There's a procedure we have for. And that's why we want you to learn FreeCAD, but from FreeCAD you can get these very nice isometric views that we can use within the language agnostic instructionals. So we have a workflow developed for how you do the language agnostic instructional. So if you guys, like once we get the build going, then you know how, how it works, then we can work on the language agnostic instructionals together. We can perhaps do some some design sprints where we actually do that as a team, like get like 10 10 or so people online and we just do that in like over a day or two you know a few days so that'll be a collaborative effort we can do because the guys on our team are learning how to do the language agnostic instructionals and maybe we can combine efforts so we just meet like for a, a weekend here or maybe a couple of weekends and we just finish all those instructionals yeah so uh, the, the actual build when you don't when you have all the parts ready how long will it take uh, if you've never assembled one before well if you have, if you've done it before it probably takes like six hours but if you haven't done it before oh. it might take 24 hours of actual build time but hopefully oh. I mean hopefully with you guys I mean that's the first that's the difference like if you're doing it the first time it's gonna take you longer but the best thing you can do is before you do the build you look at all the instructions there are like let me show you the uh, actually what we do have we have a bunch of build videos already um, so that that will help you yeah uh, take a look at that review that that's all we have so far but what you want to do is like really think about it just think about like you can actually Sarah you can sorry you cut out there I can hardly hear you right now Yeah, yeah. You should check out the the link I just pasted, and that's where we are right now for the instructions that we do have. So if you study it, then you'd have a clear idea of what it's like. Yeah. Okay. But that's why it's critical for... I mean... I can guide an entire team like if I were there like it would definitely go much faster so maybe what we can do is um, if like once you have all the parts and all the 3d printed parts like absolutely everything down to every single part we should have a meeting and then I can guide you 
to, to some of the main steps if you'd like to do that. Yeah, that would, that would, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's all there is for now. Yeah. Uh, so we can move on to the next part. So thank you, Sarah. That's great. And uh, yep, we'll continue going. Let's see. Is Ahab still there, or did he drop off? Ahab, you still there? Uh, no, I guess he's not. Okay. Okay. Do you guys have any more questions yourselves, or you've got everything for now? No, nothing. Hopefully we. Yeah, and now feel free to to email me. I mean, uh, I'd I'd like this to succeed, and it's it's going to be a nice, very nice event. And Ahab also mentioned about trying to go for a fifty-fifty gender ratio, and asking my partner here, Katarina, to come to lead that part so that we encourage more women to participate. Uh, she likes that yeah, idea, that so yeah, amazing. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if we could get a fifty-fifty event on this, that would be amazing. That we would break, you know break a couple of world records there. <laughs> yeah. Because we never have 50-50 in, in our workshops, so, uh, so that would be good. We missed something world record and amazing. What were you saying, guys? Well, the world record would be if we had 50% women show up to this, this event, and Katerina, my partner, she's very supportive of that, of making that happen. That's the plan, actually. Correct, Sarah? Excuse me? I said that's the plan. That's the initial plan. Yeah. It, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Fifty percent only from the female side, and fifty percent is male. That'll be great. So. Yep. All right. Well, that's that's. If you don't have any questions, yeah, feel free just to email me. Let me know when you're ready to build, and then we can set up a a quick call just to get you started on the build. Once you have absolutely all the parts and all the parts pre-cut and everything everything prepared, then uh, we should talk again. Super. Yep. If no more questions, uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, Martian, I'm, I'm going to be arranging with the marketing team another uh, timing slot. And okay. coming tomorrow or after it, and I'll get back to you. Okay, great. So so that's it for Ahab. Are, are we still talking in private right now, or that's it for now? Uh, no, uh, no, just uh, something before I forget that. Uh, yeah. The interview with you, uh, it was uh, supposed to be the last uh, Thursday, but yeah. uh, for some reason it did not happen. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sorry about that. It, it was a day when I'm juggling too many things here, and I, and I still didn't follow up on that. I meant to follow up. Uh, I'm here right now. I'm working on a seed eco home, which is the ecological house. I'm doing the torch table and the 3D printer. So I'm sorry, but I I, I had an emergency on that that. By the time I looked at the clock, it was the meeting was over. So, um, but I still want to follow up on that, and I plan on doing that today. So I'll 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 get you the next step in it. What I'm actually thinking is that all we need to do at that level before for that interview, I'm gonna have people simply submit a video cover letter, so I don't actually need to be there. You you do a short set of responses to the questions that I would ask you during the interview. And that's an easier way to do it, so it's actually much more easy to organize because on my side here, I'm just getting really busy and I don't have a full HR team to, to process all of that, so we're going to streamline that a little bit. If, if you allow me guys to do one thing, yeah. I'm going to step out of the meeting. Maybe if you guys want to continue for 10-15 minutes, get along with the interview, that's up to you guys. But okay. I'm going to be connecting with you for fully March and offline, okay? Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Mohammed, are you still there? Uh, oh, yeah. You're still there. Sorry. I, I thought you you were gone. Yeah. No, I'm so, Hashim, not Mohammed. Sorry, sorry, say it again. It's Hashim. H-A-S-H-I-M. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
yeah um hashim so yeah i mean do you wanna do you wanna just continue the interview like right now just a little bit we can just get okay, that done I'm fine with that okay oh great okay excellent so let's see does uh, can you turn your video back on does it does it work uh, because i don't have a camera on this desktop so could okay. you wait for me for a second okay. to go to the my, uh, to my laptop or okay okay just wait a second until Please. i go to my laptop okay great thank you